So the first thing I want to show you is how do you connect your iPad to a video projector, to an HDTV, anything like that. And so the first thing I want to show you are some adapters here. You have to get the right adapter. One thing you want to do is make sure you're getting an Apple branded adapter. If you're getting a generic adapter, any generic adapter you're getting on Amazon or anything like that, the only thing they can do is mirror the screen of the iPad. You also have to get one that works with your device, okay? So if you're using an iPhone, if you're using a non iPad Pro, like an iPad, um, iPad Air, those types of things, anything that has a lightning port, you can uh, purchase this. This is a lightning port digital, I think Apple calls it a digital AV adapter. Uh, so on this end, you're gonna have your lightning port and on this end, you have an HDMI port right there. And you should also have a charging port. As you can see, you have the HDMI uh, on that side, your lightning port on that side. Okay, so you might need one of those. Um, if you have an iPad Pro, let me just show you this real quick. You're gonna need this, this boss. Look at this thing. This boss. is like the, the biggest adapter I think Apple's ever made. Boss. Uh, so <laughs> on this side, you got your USB-C connector. Okay, and that's gonna work with any iPad Pro that has a USB-C connector. And on this side, you have your HDMI Port. You also get a USB port if you wanted to connect something like, let's say, a keyboard or an audio interface. You can use that at the same time. And then you also have a, your USB charging port there. Uh, so yeah, that you want one of those if you're using that. Now this will also work with a MacBook Pro that has a USB-C connector, Thunderbolt connector too. So keep that in mind. Um, it's kind of a two-for-one adapter. And now, if you're really using an old-school projector, they also make these. Um, this is a lightning port to an old-school VGA adapter. Um, I, we haven't had many people say they use those, but you know, you just gotta get the right adapter, that's the key. What we wanna do is connect that to our iPad. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna unplug my iPad here, and I'm just gonna plug that into the lightning, or not to the lightning port, to the USB-C port there. Right, I'm gonna stand up and hopefully, oh, I got my ear in the shot. We're gonna plug that in there. So this is just a real a cheap monitor we had laying around, had an HDMI plug uh, in it. But you know, whether you're plugging in your HDTV or in a projector, or, or even if you're taking this and running it into through like a whole video switcher into your live stream, you can do that too. Um, but this might be what you see as soon as you plug it in. This is the default that you would see. So if you had the welcome to on song song up, you're gonna get a black screen. So we do get a lot of questions. Why do I have a black screen with the name of the song in the lower left corner? Well, the reason is because you can tap on the screen to then bring up different lyrics. Okay, I'm just gonna tap in there, and it's kinda hard to see in this screen, and we're gonna go over a little bit more how we can do this, but you can see that there's like a little red bar that shows up over here on the left, and that tells me what section I have selected. And of course, I can tap on another section, mm. and it's going to transition uh, those lyrics over there. So. We kind of decided to go with that black screen because you know that's really the default you should have if you're kind of introducing something into a video system. Uh, but it does confuse people. Why is the screen black? Well, we're going to show you some ways that you can configure that a little bit differently. If we wanted to change that background, and right, anything that we want to change for that lyrics projection, we're going to tap on the TV icon in the menu bar up here. Okay, you just tap on a color just like that, and you can see it change the color, I could choose a different color and it's gonna just automatically fade to a different color. Now another thing that we could do, I'm gonna unplug this, okay? Just kinda of like toss it off to the side, we're gonna lose our connection to our TV. Um, another thing that we can do is use something like an Apple TV. So an Apple TV looks like this, okay? It looks like a giant square hockey puck. Um, you can use, I think, any Apple TV that's out there. So what we're gonna do now, obviously we can't connect to this one because it's unplugged. It's just a <laughs> demo model, but I'm gonna show you how you can connect to, a, um, to an Apple TV right now on an iPad. All you have to do is find the upper right corner of your device right here, and we swipe down from like the top. So you kinda wanna swipe onto the screen, and that's gonna bring up what's called the control center, okay? And there's this button here that looks like kind of like two little rectangles. You see that right there? So I'm gonna tap on that. And now I just have my Wi-Fi turned on and it's gonna actually find any uh, AirPlay device that is in the area that can support screen mirroring or videoing. But we're just gonna tap on live stream left. You can see here after just a few seconds, 
Uh, we have a checkbox there. Um, now we have our lyrics full screen here um, instead of on that little uh, monitor that we had plugged into the HDMI. So again, I could just tap on a section and bring that up on our screen, just like that, okay? And you can run your whole service or, or band practice or anything like that. Um, you know, some people like to use this for confidence monitors, you know, so a lot of vocalists just want to see the lyrics. They don't need all the chords and sheet music. Uh, so you could very easily use lyrics projection for that. And this will actually run full motion graphics. So maybe I can show that you that real quick, just so you believe me here. Um, but if I come in here to my screen, there is a media box here. So I can choose, instead of just like a background color, I can choose um, a video that I want to play. And so I'm gonna add a video real quick from Dropbox here in our very cluttered Onsong Dropbox. Uh, so I'm just gonna search for background here, background media. And we have this, this lovely video that we typically use, Onsong 45 seconds. And this is just like a real quick ad we put together a few, uh, a few years ago now, I think, but we really like it. So I'm just gonna tap on it there. And you can see already just tapping on it that that's now playing as my background. And again, this is all happening wirelessly. Um, so we can you know, come in here and change the lyrics that we're showing very easily, just like that, while that, that motion background is going. Now, one of the things you might notice is the very bottom, let's see if I can do this, the very bottom, ooh, right here, um, is a little bit darker, and that's something that we call um, the overlay. Okay, so the overlay, you can put in a, sh we have like kind of a gradient shadow, which just darkens up the, the video or whatever background you have so that your lyrics pop a little bit better, no matter what you got. But it can, it can basically give you some offset as to how that looks. Uh, but we can come in here and configure those to be different as well. So you can have different overlays. 